Good morning, guys and girls. Happy Tuesday to you. Greet you today in Jesus' name. This is Pastor Ryan with installment two of Devotions from the Rooftop. I'm on the CLI rooftop. It is a cool and beautiful place. It's tough to get up here, but it's fun when you get here. Hey, I have a question for you today as we prepare our hearts for God to speak. My question is this. What are you eating what are you eating? I'm not trying to run your business, but I think God wants to speak to us. Listen, Isaiah 55, verse 1 and 2 says this, Everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. You who have no money, come and buy and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend money for what is not bread and your wages for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is good and let your soul delight itself in abundance. Now, guys and girls, we understand in our day and nutrition is a big thing, health is a is a big thing and we're all about being healthy and uh, at least we should be. Um, and what we've come to learn is that the things we eat affect our physical body. It's clearly stated by not just specialists, just anybody that pays attention that the greatest part of sicknesses in our culture could be handled if we would eat right and sleep right and exercise. It's nothing fancy. It's just those simple things. If we would eat right, sleep right, and exercise. And often, um, I've understood in my life, I don't feel good, maybe because I'm not eating right. Or maybe I have anxiety because I'm drinking too much coffee. So I get that physically. But there's another arena that the Lord wants to hear that. And the Lord says over us, as sons and daughters of the living God, there are times that we walk around defeated. There are times that we walk around uh, uh, down and in despair and hopeless and, and lost. And we walk around looking just like the world, often because we're eating exactly what the world is eating. And the Lord has something he wants to speak to us as we're preparing our hearts to hear him and allow him to open our minds to the new things he wants to do. We've heard the stories about people that have been healed by eating the right thing. Well, the Lord wants you to know that that principle that you are what you eat applies not only physically, but spiritually. And it's funny, we're so busy eating at the buffet of the world, we have a media diet that just will blow anybody's mind. Our, we eat at the media buffet so much that if the Father wanted to speak to us, we, we wouldn't even be able to tell what word was his because we eat so much at the media buffet. And I'm, I'm talking to myself, so I'm not pointing fingers. So what we understand is this, is that God calls us to eat what he puts in front of us. And rather than being people that feed at the same buffet of the world, what if we say, hey, we're going to be aware of this world we're walking in. But listen to what the Lord says over you. In Psalm 107, verse 9, the Lord says, he will satisfy the thirsty and fill the hungry with good things. Psalm 63 says, my soul will be satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. Psalm 34 says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 23 says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Loved ones, uh, rather than eating at the buffet of the world, what if we come back to the word of God, to those words that are true and that cut through soul and spirit and joint and marrow? Let's, let's take time feeding on his word. Let's take time feeding and, and, and praying in, in his name and going before the Lord, not only individually, but corporately. Let's cry out to the Lord. Let's feed at the table he's put in front of us. And let's see if it changes how we feel spiritually. And um, in fact, we don't just have to wait and see. We, we know that there's a guarantee in the word that when we eat at that table, we will be satisfied. Lord, I pray for these people today that you would keep them, lift them up. Today, Lord, I hear you say that you've prepared a table before us, even sometimes in the presence of our enemies, and you anoint our head with oil, our cup runs over. Father, thank you that you're satisfying these people today. Thank you that you feed us with good things. So, Lord, rather than eating at the buffet of this earth, Lord, we're going to feed at your table today and listen to how you want to grow us and change us. Jesus, we give you praise. Amen. Amen. See you tomorrow.